Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here, and today I want to talk about the Nintendo Switch presentation that just happened a few days ago. And we've known about the Nintendo Switch for a while, but we just got some more details at this presentation, release date, price, some upcoming games. And it's scheduled to be released on March 3rd of 2017. A lot of people were expect expecting it to be delayed or sometime later, but I'm glad. Sooner the better. And it's going to be $300, which I don't think is too bad uh, for a new console. You know, you're paying for a console that's pretty much portable. Um, $250, they probably would have sold a lot more if it was at that price, but it's not a big deal to me. Um, and as far as the actual Switch itself, I like it. I like the idea of it. I like the idea of being able to just take your controllers, take off the Joy-Con, snap it onto the Switch, lift it up, and away you go. Uh, Nintendo claims you can have anywhere between two and a half hours to six hours of battery life. That's a really wide range, so... Uh, they said something like Breath of the Wild is going to take around three hours until it drains your battery. Uh, but some more, I guess, less intensive games, maybe like 1-2 Switch, might be around five or six hours. Now, when the Switch is on the go, it's only going to output 720p up to 60 frames per second. But whenever it's docked, it is going to be outputting 1080p at 60 frames per second. I'm not sure if all games are going to be 60 frames per second, um, but they did show Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And they said that that game at all times will run 60 FPS whenever it's docked. Um, for the console connected to the TV. And so, um, good stuff there. I'm not super bummed about a 720p display on the tablet. From what I've watched and read, um, it looks really nice. And honestly, when I'm on the go, I'm not worried about a 1080p screen or a 4K screen whenever I'm playing a game. And so, uh, this whole concept of being able to take it anywhere makes me wonder what the future of the 3DS is. Because if this does really well, why make games for the 3DS whenever you can just make games for the Nintendo Switch? Because it's portable as well. Um, and it charges via USB-C. And if you have a power, ba power uh, bank, you can just plug the cable into the Nintendo Switch and charge it while you're on the go. That's just depending on if the Switch does really well. Um, and that really depends on the library of games. And honestly, lineup for launch doesn't look very well. It has like four or five games. Um, Breath of the Wild, which obviously is awesome. A uh, 1-2 Switch, a gimmick, which should honestly be included with the purchase of the, purchase of the Nintendo Switch, if you ask me. Um, that ARMS game, and I um, can't remember the other one, um, but it's just not super strong. It'd be nice if they had Super Mario Odyssey available or at launch. That would make it awesome. Or even Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I don't think they really gave a, a definitive release date on that, but if it just goes the same path as the Wii U of having a really weak, um, launch title, um, launch titles. I don't know. It might not sell that well when it first comes out. So to talk a little bit more about the games, um, one, two switch doesn't really impress me. That's a game I probably will never buy if it's not included with a switch and never want to buy just because it just, I don't know. It just looks like one of those games where Nintendo is like, here, this is what is possible with our console. It's not necessarily a, a great game, but to me, it just represents, Hey, this is kind of the stuff you can do. Um, to kind of get maybe developers thinking about ideas of other possible future games. Um, in ARMS, I mean, it's a boxing game pretty much, and we had that with like Wii Sports. Um, so I'm not super crazy about that either. And if they release it like $60, I don't think games like 1-2-Switch and ARMS are worth $60. But I could be wrong because we don't know all about those games. Um, but a game that I saw on Nintendo Treehouse that was not, uh, to my knowledge, on the presentation was Snipper Clips. Now, this is a really interesting game, um, unique, and it reminded me of Scribblenauts. And if you know what Scribblenauts is, basically you had to solve puzzles and you had to write in or type in um, an item that would help you solve a puzzle. And you had this wide variety of like dictionary full of items. Um, Snipper Clips is kind of the same way. You uh, use two players. Apparently it can be used with one player. I'm not sure how. But um, two players and you have to shape each other. You can like clip each other and make each other different shapes like squares triangles whatever and then you need to shape yourselves to accomplish certain things to solve a puzzle and so you have to have a lot of communication in the game um, you have to be creative and i just thought it was a really cool game um, and something i would definitely pick up and plan on picking up and it was just a nice break from the same old like action platformer adventure stuff like that and so um, snipper clips definitely check it out i'll put some links down in the description where you can watch some more videos on it Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, what do you got to expect there? It's not a super new Mario Kart game. It's just all of the Mario Kart 8 game, all the DLC, plus a couple extra characters, a new battle mode, which they needed because battle mode in Mario Kart 8 was just 
terrible. And then Super Mario Odyssey was just like the most random thing, I think, in a long time coming from Nintendo. I like I didn't expect this game. I expected a Mario game, but I didn't expect this type of game. And it was just weird seeing Mario like interact with like New York City and like regularly proportioned people. And it, Mario was super short and it was it was kind of weird, but at the end of it, I'm thinking, who really cares because it's a Mario game? Man, when they zoomed up on that close-up of Mario and all those details in that stash, um, I was pretty impressed because of just the amount of attention to detail there. And hopefully the Switch can hold out on that like throughout the game and just throughout its library and get better and better as we go on. I cannot uh, say enough about this game, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. The trailer for this game was the best trailer I think I've ever seen for any video game and really anything in general. It was just a really good trailer. You got a good sense of the plot. You got a good sense of some characters that you're going to be um, in contact with. You got Ritos, you got Sharks, you got Zoras, you got Gorons, all this different stuff. Koroks. And it looks like this game takes place after Wind Waker. But um, you've got some voice acting, which I wasn't really didn't really notice it at first because I was just watching the trailer and it was in Japanese with English subtitles so I'm like oh okay whatever but then I realized like wait there's gonna be voice acting in this game then I watched the English version of the trailer and honestly I'm fine with the voice acting now Link didn't talk which if he does I don't really care but he just got a lot of sense of emotion of just the size of the game the character interaction uh, the bonds between characters and it was just really, really good. And I watched a little bit of the Nintendo Treehouse of them playing it. And they didn't reveal too much, but um, it just looks like a really good game. And like I mentioned before, it's being released with the Nintendo Switch on March 3rd. And so that is a day one instant buy. I don't care who you are. And so to summarize, I'm really excited about the Wii U. I'm really excited about some good games coming up in the future. I wish there would be more games for the launch. Um, there seems to be a lot of third-party support. Third parties look like they're really excited for the Switch. We got Skyrim, FIFA, um, all this stuff coming to the Switch. And um, it's just kind of interesting. A lot of people say, oh, Skyrim, that's like 2011. Well, you can't really just pick up Skyrim and just take it on the go and just play it handheld. To my knowledge, you can't. So that's kind of an interesting draw if you never played Skyrim before, like I haven't. So I don't know. I might pick it up. I have no idea. I've heard a lot of people have put weeks into that game. Um, so we'll see. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the Nintendo Switch down in the comment section below. Is it an instant day one purchase for you or are you going to wait for a price drop or do you think it's the stupidest thing ever? Um, let me know what you think. Uh, obviously you guys know I'm a big fan. That's no secret. I've been buying Nintendo stuff for like ever and uh, always been a big fan. And um, But I will call Nintendo out when they're doing something wrong. And I do think they're doing something wrong with a week of lineup. Um, and not including games like 1-2 Switch or ARMS with a Nintendo Switch. Um, I think that is a mistake, but we'll see how it goes. Um, that's enough for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit that thumbs up button. And make sure you follow me on all my social links. They're all down in the description below. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all those fun places. It's Tyler Miller TV on all of them. And uh, subscribe for more videos if you want to see some more videos from me. Thank you guys again for watching. And we'll see you guys in the next video.